it's election season and businesses are cashing in on merchandise. Let's take a look at some of them. Presidential candidates, their running mates, slogans, catchphrases and political parties adorn a variety of clothing and accessories at this central Jakarta market. Vendors work hard to finish their orders on time and customers want to buy merchandise supporting candidates of their choosing. The consensus is clear. Everybody has election fever. Kita produksi kaos. Kita kan kompleksi sendiri. Kaos itu kita bisa nerima sampai 5000 pieces per seminggu. Itu naik 50% dari biasanya. It's the same for Iskandar, who is in the printing business. He has been involved in three elections now, raking in a profit of 60 to 70 percent by selling thousands of t-shirts per week. He is even offering customers a special deal. Kalau setiap pemesanan seribu, kita ada gift itu 50 bendera ukuran 60 kali 90 setiap partainya. Of all the merchandise here, the most profitable is the most popular campaigning tool, costing anywhere upwards of about 70 cents each, depending on the design and quantity, vendors receive large t-shirt orders from political parties or mass organizations, allowing them to bank in over 3,000 US dollars or more per order. Banner printing businesses are also getting a boost. The volume of work at this shop has increased twofold, says the owner, and income has gone up by a full 100 percent. With four printing machines with the capacity to print up to 3,000 square meters of material per day, over 200,000 banners have been printed already. Over at smaller shops, pin-sized attributes are bumping up incomes. <laughs> While a shorter campaigning period has meant that vendors have made less money than in previous elections, with tens of thousands of Indonesians attending rallies and over 200 million people heading to the polls, the increase in demand for election merchandise is still expected to nudge the economy upwards. Chani Vatvani, CNA, Jakarta.